Chicago's north side, Metropolis Coffee Company roasts coffee by hand. This is from Ethiopia. Every batch made to order. It's got an, an intoxicating smell. Every bag ordered, sent within 24 hours. This National Roaster of the Year's mission is to be a positive influence in people's lives through coffee. But this isn't a story about building a brand. This is a story about breaking down barriers. We have people involved. Um, we just get more work and we just get things done. Meet Ben Rankin Parker. You could say he has the corner office at Metropolis. We, we, we like working. Ben has a genetic condition so called Fragile X Syndrome. Often compared to autism, Fragile X Syndrome causes intellectual disabilities. Ben has trouble with reading, writing, and math. He finds social settings difficult and can't always communicate clearly. Here's a coffee in there. We just take it in there and then we, we, we sell it to people. At 31, Ben has never had formal job training until now. These are like nice labels here. The guy working alongside Ben is Jerry Callis. Right, just like this, right, pal? Throw him up like this. Jerry is part of Aspire Coffee Works. That's good. A social enterprise started by Aspire. Aspire is an innovative nonprofit dedicated to creating a community where people of all abilities live, learn, and grow together. Right, almost done? Yeah. In an effort to be that positive influence through coffee, Metropolis teamed up with Aspire. Metropolis team members roast the coffee, Aspire team members prepare it for market. They work side by side. You could say the staff is perfectly blended. Tony Dreyfus is co-founder of Metropolis. That it's a unique opportunity for Ben, but equally it's a unique opportunity for us to learn from others and, and, and to understand that we're all part of something larger than ourselves. So, you know, when I see Ben, it feels like, hey, Ben's, Ben's on our team, you know. It feels like Ben is Metropolis and, and Ben is Aspire. For the last several years, the partnership has grown, but Aspire wanted to put more people like Ben to work. And in order for that to happen, they had to do one simple thing. They had to sell more coffee. Aspire CEO, Jim Kales. So just like we needed a partner for roasting the coffee, we needed a great partner for distribution. And that partner has been Canteen. Truly an amazing partnership. And so Canteen, the world's largest vending company, became the missing link, forming a rare partnership between the artisan roaster Metropolis, the nonprofit Aspire, and big business. Aspire's John McElwain remembers that first meeting. When we met with Canteen, they not only embraced us, we got a bear hug from Canteen, and it was been a phenomenal partnership. There's more to this story. We're getting involved in an even bigger way, inviting some Aspire associates into our canteen branches. We, we really like how you're packaging the coffee. Oh, thanks. CRS Chicago District General Manager Oren Hebner says he supports inclusion, and having Aspire associates on his staff is rewarding for everyone. So are you happy working at, at canteen, Kenny? Oh, yeah. Everything is good? Yes, yeah, going good, yeah. My mom and I, I, she drink it sometimes with her, with me. Successful in so many ways. Oh, it smells good. But summed up best by Ben's mother, Ruth. It gives him a sense of independence and um, pride that is priceless. Barriers broken down. So, it's, it's excellent. By a simple cup of coffee and a partnership where everyone wins. And there is nothing that I would want more than for my son to feel that he did work that was worthwhile and that he was valued in the work that he does. In Chicago for CTV, I'm Ann Sheridan. Mm -hmm.